All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another 2019 Hero Guide. Today, we are gonna be talking about my personal favorite hero to play in Battlefront 2, and that is Kylo Ren. Now, Kylo Ren might not be my favorite character in the Star Wars universe, but in terms of Battlefront 2, between his abilities, his star cards, and his play style, he is my absolute favorite, yes, even above Anakin. Now, the things I'm gonna go over in this Hero Guide are just some general tips for playing as Kylo Ren, the best maps to use him on, some ability combinations, and the best GA and HVB star cards to use in order to dominate with him on the battlefront. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on because I will have a bunch more hero guides on the other heroes coming out later on as well as more hero concepts for other characters that I would love to see in the game. Anyways, getting into it, I'm going to start with just a couple of general tips for Kylo Ren. The first one is if you're going for big kill streaks, you don't want to be wasting time. Standing around wasting time against other heroes is probably just going to lead to you taking a lot of damage or getting killed. So there's not a lot of point standing around and trying and take them down unless you know they're low health and you can kill them really easily. So don't waste your time with other heroes. In saying this though, you do need to be aware of where they are on the map. There's obviously always going to be other hero characters around the map when you're playing, so make sure you don't get caught off guard by them because that's just going to lead to a quick death. And being on the dark side, when you're going up against someone playing Anakin, that can happen extremely quickly. And before you even know there's a hero on you, you're probably going to be dead anyway because Anakin is just that powerful. So make sure you're always aware of where they are. The next tip is like a mobility tip, always be moving. The one that I use the most is dash dash frenzy. So I'm going to explain this a little bit. This is kind of like if there's an enemy that's too far away from you to pull or you're waiting for your pull to be recharged or something, you need to close the distance to an enemy that's shooting at you. I will dash in a diagonal to the left, dash in a diagonal to the right, and then hit frenzy once I'm close enough to them to close that gap. This is going to ensure that their aim is kind of off balance. They're not just shooting in a straight line because if you just beeline run straight at an enemy, they can literally get the easiest headshot on you possible so that's just going to lead to you dying so make sure you use the dash dash frenzy when you're closing the gap on an enemy the next one's a little bit more tricky to keep on top of and that's to keep your abilities refreshed before running into large groups of enemies so kylo ren can be played a little bit aggressive but you want to make sure you've got at least one or two of his abilities ready to go nothing's worse than getting in there and trying to activate frenzy or freeze or pull and you don't have it ready to go and you end up just getting shot to death so make sure you're checking those regularly because you want to make sure you can use at least one of them when you're on the push Kylo's abilities are probably more important to him than some of the other heroes. Some of them can get away with just using one or maybe two and just combining that with their regular lightsaber strikes. But with Kylo Ren, all three of his abilities are extremely effective against infantry and also heroes. So make sure you're keeping an eye on those. They are very important. Now, there are times where Kylo can be very fragile. He can take a lot of damage very quickly. So make sure if you take a bit of damage, duck out into some cover, get that health back and then push back in after you've recovered. There were a few times in the gameplay that you guys are watching here where I get smashed with a stinger pistol or a couple of blaster shots and then I have to retreat really quickly. There's one point in one of my other clips where I had a thirsty Anakin chasing me. I backed out around a corner out of bounds for him but it wasn't for me and I just got my health back and then I could push back in and finish them off. So this is something you need to do. You got to keep an eye on that health bar and play it smart on top of everything else that I've discussed already. With Kylo Ren, like I said, you've got to play him aggressive but you have to be smart at the same time. Getting in and out of fights is probably the best thing you can do. Picking your spots on when to charge at a team or charge at an enemy is definitely going to help you in the long run. If you run in there willy-nilly and you don't assess the situation before you go in, that's probably going to lead to you dying because you may not see the hero that's backing them up or you may not see someone else behind them or a full squad rolling in. So pick your spots and make sure you play smart. So those are just some general tips. Let's get into the best maps for Kylo Ren. The first one I'm going to talk about is actually the gameplay you guys are watching. It is going to be Jakku. Kylo is an absolute beast on Jakku. If you get in and out of the first phase and manage to survive with Kylo Ren, you're in for a good run because in that second phase, he's an absolute beast. I think I had like 15 to 20 kills in the first phase. We went into the second, got another 15 to 20, and then the same thing in the third phase for it. So it's definitely a really good spot for Kylo Ren. The map is perfectly suited for his abilities. Between the freeze, pull, and frenzy, all of these are great for him and you can use them really effectively on Jakku. The second map is going to be Endor and obviously this is just a no-brainer. Endor is good for any hero kill streak that you're going for, regardless of whether it's light side, dark side, whichever character you're going to use, Endor is going to be a good map for kill streaks. The same thing comes along with the third map, which is Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk is such a large map, and the first phase seems to go for what feels like forever. If you're playing the dark side, you're also the attacking team. So you're on the push, and it's definitely the best way to get kill streaks. You don't have to worry about too many enemies getting behind you, so you're definitely at an advantage here if you're playing a lightsaber hero. Kylo Ren has plenty of cover on Kashyyyk, so the fact that he is fragile doesn't really 
really matter too much. There's a lot of places you can duck and hide behind, get into cover and heal that health back up. And the fourth map that I'm going to say Kylo Ren is great on is going to be Naboo. Again, this is a great map for Kylo Ren. This is where you want to be because it's a long map. You can get long kill streaks. If you play it smart, there's plenty of cover to hide behind and you can just go on an all out push. The only downside to this and a couple of the other maps that I mentioned is that he's going to have a 6,000 battle point payout just to get him in the round. But that's something that a lot of you players can actually get to pretty quickly now. So it shouldn't be too much of an issue for you guys. The next thing I'm going to talk about are some combinations. Now, what I do with the combinations is I talk about what I've found most successful with using Kylo's abilities in succession. So the first one is called pull to jump strike. This is great for infantry. If you pull them towards you and then you jump at them and swing your lightsaber, it's pretty much a guaranteed kill before they even hit the ground. Unless you're going up against a heavy, you may need a second follow-up strike. This can be really effective in taking out infantry that are far away and doing it quickly before they get any shots on you. The next one is pull to frenzy. This is for large groups. If you see a large group in the distance in front of you, if you can pull all of them towards you and then activate frenzy, you're going to take all of them out and not take much damage at all. This is great, like I said, for wiping out full squads. So make sure you're taking advantage of this combination. The next one is freeze to frenzy. So you guys would have seen a lot of the gameplay in the background already. Freezing an enemy and then jumping in with frenzy just pretty much wipes them out quickly so you can move on and get to your next kill. Now this following combination is going to be for heroes. It's the pull freeze frenzy. So you're going to use all three abilities in succession. If you can pull a hero over towards you, freeze them and then hit frenzy, that's going to do a lot of damage. You can follow that up with some lightsaber strikes. This is going to leave them immobilized for a long time. And if you're playing galactic assault, this is going to leave them exposed for a long time to your teammates as well. So if you got other people around you, you're definitely going to melt every single hero you come across. And yes, this is very effective against Anakin as well. The second last combination I'm going to talk about is the double strike frenzy. And this one is perfect for reinforcements and very specifically Wookiees. So if I come up against a Wookiee, I definitely go for two regular lightsaber strikes first and then try to activate frenzy to finish them off. This way, if they activate their health buff after you've hit them with the first two shots, the frenzy will carry out the rest of the damage, even if they have buffed themselves. Really effective against Wookiees. If you haven't tried it yet, I definitely suggest it. And the last combination is the dash dash frenzy. This is a gap close. So if you've got an enemy that's really far away, again, like I mentioned before, and you don't have your pull ready, you want to get that dash dash and then hit frenzy to close the final bit of distance. So those are all the combos. So if they didn't make any sense to you or you missed something and didn't quite understand, go back and listen again. These tips are going to be really useful for you in Galactic Assault. Speaking of GA, let's get into the star cards that I've been using. It's going to start off with obviously frenzied, which is the health on kill card for Kylo, giving you health regen every time you kill an enemy. The second card is going to be called power reach. This gives you a 30% increased pull area of effect on that force pull ability. And trust me, you want this card attached. This is my number one card for Kylo Ren. Even without health on kill card, I think this card is extremely important. Being able to pull an enemy from a long distance away, because the first thing that happens when an enemy sees Kylo Ren running towards them is they usually turn and run the other way. So being able to pull them in is definitely an advantage. The next one is similar and comes along the same lines of closing the distance between you and an enemy. It's called closing in. This gives you a 40% further leap distance with the frenzy ability. And if you are playing the large open maps like Kashyyyk and Naboo, you want to be able to close that gap really quickly on those enemies. So if you see them, you turn a corner and they're kind of sort of far away. You want to get that dash dash frenzy, close that real long distance that you've got in a matter of a second. And then you've got another quick kill right then and there. So those would be the best star cards that I recommend using for Galactic Assault. Now getting into heroes versus villains, it's a little bit of a different beast. I use what I call the damage loadout for Kylo Ren, where we stack up the damage on his abilities to try and take out enemy heroes. So the first card, again, obviously frenzied will be the health on kill card. That's going to ensure that you stay alive longer. Every time you get a kill, you're going to get a large portion of bonus health from taking out that enemy. This is something that all the heroes have now, and it's definitely recommended using it in GA and HVV. The second card is going to be called Resilience. Now this gives you 20 bonus damage for every lightsaber swing when you're near your teammates. So basically it says when you're near villains, so anyone that's on your team in Heroes vs. Villains is going to give you a 20 damage buff. So if you're running around with Vader on your team and you guys are close by, you take on Ray or Anakin, you're going to get 20 bonus damage 
per hit. So that's going to be really useful for a lot of you guys. So make sure you're using that as well. The last card we're going to use is called Bloodlust. And this is going to do the exact same thing as Resilience would do, except you just get 20 extra damage per hit. You don't have to be near a teammate. You just get 20 extra damage every time you hit someone. And this is going to be extremely useful in combination with that last star card, Resilience, because this is essentially giving you 40 bonus damage when you're near an enemy villain. And in Heroes vs. Villains, nine times out of 10, you're going to be near your teammates. So this is definitely a helpful loadout, which is why I call it the damage loadout. You're getting 40 bonus every time you hit someone. So that's definitely the best way to go in Heroes vs. Villains and what I've found most useful. If you guys have star card loadouts that you guys have been trying and you've been really successful with that are different to mine, make sure you drop them down in the comments below because I'm interested to see what star card loadouts you guys are running. So those are all the tips pretty much that I can give you for Kylo Ren. My final thoughts on using him is that he can be played really aggressively, but you have to be smart about it. You would have seen in the gameplay that I've had on screen, I do tend to charge into groups, which I wouldn't normally recommend with most heroes, but Kylo Ren's frenzy ability definitely allows you to do that and get away with it. So he can be played aggressive, but again, you have to be smart. Closing the distance with Kylo is going to be the most essential thing. A lot of the time enemies are going to be further away. So using that longer pull card or using the dash dash frenzy to close the gap, these are definitely the best ways to go about getting killstreaks in GA. And finally, making the most of all of his abilities. You'll listen to my combinations, you'll watch the gameplay, you'll see that I use all of his abilities a lot. Some heroes, you don't necessarily need that. You can get away with using one, maybe two abilities, and then just using regular lightsaber strikes. But Kylo Ren is most effective when you're using all of his abilities as much as possible. So make sure you guys try to do that when you're running for streaks with Kylo Ren. Anyways, I hope this hero guide was helpful for you guys. If it was, smash a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe because I will have more of these that will hopefully get you guys getting better kill streaks with the heroes in Battlefront 2. But for now, I am going to get out of here. I will be live streaming tonight. So if you guys want to tune into that, I will see you all there. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Twisted Jedi and may the force be with you always.